I already saw how to set up the cloud-based MongoDB database. So if you are not watch, watch that video, I have attached the video on the video description. You just go and watch them. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach how to how to make the connection, how to establish the connection into our Node.js. So first, I'm going to create the Node.js project. So here, I'm going to go to the Node.js project. So I'm going to create the Node projects. Here, I'm going to type cmd command. I have to go into code space dot and open the folder. First, I'm going to go to here. I'm going to get the new folder. This folder I've got name is index.js. Here, I'm going to make the configurations. Right, I'm going to make the configuration. Right. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the express server. Express is a server, so I'm going to terminal new terminal. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Express. Express, which is a Node.js server. Okay, it's a backend server, so we have to implement the. To go to the no Express npm, you have to type npm Express. It will be go to the respective website for download the dependency. Go here. It will be mentioned how to install. Click on that. Click here. If you have to type here. What is the thing you have to? npm i express. Here, if you have to click on this one, it will be clipboard copied. Go here. If you have paste it, press enter key on the keyboard. You have to wait until the express server installed. After that, you have to install the another one is a mongoose, which is a database connectivity. So you have to type npm mongoose. It's a mongoose library. Click on here. It take you to your respective website for add the npm mongoose. Click on this to make sure clipboard is copied. Now back to your terminal, terminal window, paste it and press enter key. You have to wait until the mongoose library get installed. After install, you have to import the library source. Concern express plus equal required dot express dot constant dot like mangoes equal required mangoes that import these two libraries after that you have type we have to we have to use the so get the variable app we have to import this object express okay express, express which is server you have to run it run on it okay we have to create the object of express object first you have to implement the uh, class you have to require you have to implement the class required express right after that you have to implement the mongoose class of we have added after that, we have to create the object of express. After that, what I'm going to do is we have to create the port. We have to create the variable. This is a data type, constant data type. Port, we, are, we need the port for running our Node.js project. So type 5000 port where my Node.js server is running. After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the URL. So the MongoDB URL. So the MongoDB. MongoDB UR MongoDB database database UR right here we have to implement the database URL where you are we are going to getting here is you have to go to the here you have to go to the overview right so here we have we can get it the URL of the project Right, so let go to the connect. Connect here to go to driver. Here, this is the URL. Click on this to copy this one. Back it here. We have to give the while I install paste it here while I'm installing the 
while I'm, this is my username, password, what is the password I have typed it here is, what is the this, 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 this is the thing you have to put yourself, what is the username you are gave, what is the password you are gave, don't type this one, this is my, my machine username and password, you have to type your, okay, so here, MongoDB, Mongo ABC, this is the password I have given, okay, so you have to type your password, what is the password you gave, if you have typed my password, it won't work, right, this is must. After that, what you are going to do is, we have to type the mongoose library, we have to implement the mongoose library. Copy this one, paste it over here. This one, mongoose library dot connect. You have a method called connect. You have to write here this library, comma, open bracket and close bracket, use new. URL sir true comma that I use uni topology top topology logic true To implement both this one after that you have to write here you have to write you have to call the variable create another variable connection equal mongoose dot connection how that you have to write app dot listen port you have to write the arrow function you have to write the arrow function open and close bracket you have to write console dot log you have to write server this running port port this port you mentioned the port this support where your server is and the support after the time going to is the right connection dot once you have to open the connection only once you have given this one as well you have to open the connection only once right the connection is open only the once right here right here open connection open once you open you have to uh, this is the arrow function you have to write the arrow function simply implement the arrow function open and close bracket right here you have to write again you have to write the connection you have to test whether your mongodb is connected or not your mongodb uh, cloud databases you have to make the message you have to write the message mongo db connected File save all again. You have to run the project and check. So type node server sorry index dot case. You have to run the project. This is node index on case. Press enter key on your keyboard. Now you have to wait. What's the error? Use write it here. This is the one spelling mistake. That's why you take the error of use. You have to write uh, what's the error? Use uni field field topology right now let's check again save all again you have to run the project right my server is running right here yeah. mongodb is connected successfully now the uh, Mongo's database connected successfully. The cloud database we have connected, uh, connected successfully. You can see here. Now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to go to do the uh, thing is first. I'm going to go to the click on this new folder. This folder. I'm going to create the databases and tables. So here we have created in Node.js. We called as schema. 
right? So how to create a schema? So you have to write, you have to create a folder which is a SRC. Inside the SRC folder, we have to create the folder which is student folder. The student folder, we have to create a schema. It's very simple. First, you have to add the Mongoose library. We have to use the Mongoose library. By the Mongoose library. Right? Sorry, here student, you have to create this. Uh, sorry, this one you have to. I'm going to create a folder here. Folder I'm going to create here as student folder. Student folder here, right? Say so file you have to create as student model. This is a model. Dot JS. Here I'm going to create first you have to import the mongoose library. So here in order to create the database, you have to in the mongoose, right? So mongoose library we have to implement at first. After that, we have to write a schema. So we have to create the schema here, right? So first we have to schema, the schema, schema, so write the schema, var schema equal mongoose schema. We have to create the schema, database schema in mongoose, right? So after that, we have to create the object of schema. So we have to write var this is student schema you write student schema i'm going to create the object student schema equal we have to create the object so you have to implement this schema that's the thing you have to write open and close scaly bracket here open and close open bracket and close bracket inside here what i'm going to do is we have to implement the name name open bracket and close bracket here we have to uh, create the types Okay, here we have to create the columns. These are the collection, not we are called as collection. We are called as columns. Right, so here first name. This is the column name. name. What is the data type? Type, you have to mention the type. Type equals string. Type equals string. Right, so required mean this field is required. Right, so required true. Right. After that, this bucket close. After that, another field, the same field I'm going to copy and paste is below address. Right? This one also string and required row. After that, I'm going to copy the same field. This one should be the phone. This one should be the number. Phone means it's a number data. That's it. And that's the thing you have to do. It. Right. After that, we have to this model we have to we have to export it the outside the class so you have to write model dot exports equal mongoose dot model it's a mongoose model so you have to write you have to create the database which is a student database table you have to create a student table so write here schema for schema you have to write discuss scheme you have to create it this is how you have to mention it right okay this is table right these are the inside this table you have to create this following columns inside this table we have to create this following columns right these are columns you have to create okay these are the tables which name is student the student schema here have to write like this this all the these are the create as objects. These are all the objects will be passing to this table. Right? This is the thing we have to do. This is how we have created the tables. Right. Now file save all. Now what I'm going to do is after that, we have created the model successfully. Now I'm going to go to create the uh we have to create the routes. So here we have to simply you have to create the routes here. Uh click on the new file, you have to create outside it. Check right click, click new. You have to create a folder. Sorry, you have to create a folder. Dog folder. Okay, this is a simple exercise I have did uh, very simply how to make the credit application using MongoDB with Mongo uh, Mongo uh, Mongoose library. Okay, MongoDB database. So here I have created the folder successfully. So here you have to write routes dot js. Here write the route dot js. Here we have to create the following things. Right, so how to implement the CRUD operations 
the here here we are i'm going to create this one right so first what i'm going to do is the first you have to import the express express server i already explained the express server which is a backend server copy this you have to implement it over here right after that what i'm going to do is you have the routes routes is the uh, routes is the url we have to manage the all the url managed by routes so you have to, you have to create the variable const so write router equal express dot router now here you have to write create the object var student model equal rikya so you have to write you have to write src my folder my file is inside the src a student you have to write student model right now you have to write here the student model you have to first you have to tell them where my student model is resided you have to tell them where my student model is resided it resided on that if you, if you have to type uh, dot dot it is a black slash it's go out of the folder and after that if you go this route out of the folder if you put double uh, double dot slash after that you visit to the src folder inside the src folder there is a folder which is name is student inside student folder we have a file which is a student model we have to go inside this file so you have to go over here we went already inside the file now first you have to write the router but in the router method dot post you have to write here if the url is coming from slash student create what happens is it's go comma assign function you have to write assign function you have to write request and response request and response right what's the meaning of request and response when the request is coming you get the request and send it to the backend when the response is coming backend to front end. this one should be request is get front end to backend response is backend to front end that's the things it, it happened over here right that's line mentioned right now here what i'm going to do is post request when the request is coming slash student create method create what i'm going to do is here you create the variable constant variable constant data type you have to create the student equal equal new student model so you have to write request dot body right so here what is this meaning of when we are using a postman we have to create the body the things in what is the things uh, uh, what is the thing we will be checking my when you are uh, when you test with the postman i'll be explain this one. how easy it is right you can see right very easy if you are making the thread application programming using uh, node.js try here you have to write try catch block mention error first you have to write that if you have put the assign function you have to write the avoid student dot save response dot status send you have to write you have to write status true message you have to create as here as a message
should not create it. Right. That's the thing you have right. Student created. Right? Student created. You have write the message. Student created. Right. What I did here is it will be get the data from the model. Okay. So when the request is coming like this, okay, in the front end slash student create, what happens is we get the request here and send into the student model. Student model is here and pass into this here. So here fy student dot save me, it goes to here. Model function, what is the data, your name, and thus you are typing there in the postman or any front end framework, it will be getting the data and it turns to our database. So that's the thing that done. Right? That's the thing it will be done over here. Right? If there any problem with them, you have to write, you have to write the status, you have to write this number. If there any error occur, okay, you have to write this number. Okay, you have to go at Google and search what is the meaning of these numbers. 400, send the error. This is important stuff to you learn. Uh, no yes, right? Very simple. Now here what I am going to do is uh, routes, right? Now let's go to my index.js page. Here we have to link those these routes. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is here I'm going to uh, start it, start it here as we have given here as var so that var routes you have to create the variable routes equal required you have to give the path of it what's the path this is your current directory dot slash routes folder this is a route folder inside the routes folder we have a say the route folder here inside the route sorry say the routes folder say the route folder we have a file which is a routes that's it that's the thing you have to write okay that's how we have to link the routes right after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement the body parser in order to uh, test with the front end uh, and back end right so you have to write constant variable body parser the parser equal required here is a required so here we have to uh, we haven't installed them so you have to write we have to install them okay body parser parser body parser right now I'm going to implement this library. Okay, so you have to copy this one. I just control C to uh, uh, stop the project. I'm going to install npm install body parser. Press enter key on your keyboard. You have to wait until the body parser library gets installed. Right, it installed successfully. Right, perfect. That's the thing you have to write. Right. Now what I'm going to do is after that what I'm going to do is you have to install all things that are there. After that we have to run the app. So you have to write here. This one should be your App dot expert this is your server. You have to write here app dot use. You have to write body pass dot json. That's the thing you have to write. You have to write app dot use routes. That's it. Now let's file save all. Now let's set back it how the things work. npm index node index js. Uh, route require. Okay, the spelling mistake with the require. So you have to copy this one require. You have to paste this one. That's spelling mistake. After that, we have to another error go to the router. So here also we have to model module dot exports we haven't export the router it's a model router that's also we did that now let's file save all again we have to run the application 
Now you can check here what's the problem. All right, the problem is I haven't connected the internet. All right now again I'm going to run it because my database is connected in cloud. Okay, if I not connect the internet, we have get the error. Okay, if you get the error, you have to check with with it your internet connection because my I hosted my database in the cloud. Right now it's running successfully. Now open the Postman. Now let's check with the application whether it's working fine or not. Post. So you have to write what's the port you have to connect it. Port. So here instead of the postman, we have to we have a in in the uh, VS Code editor we have the extension. But go to the extension you have to type here thunder client thunder client so if you are type the thunder client okay thunder client here this is the extension thunder client teach right you have to uh, search and install thunder client okay you have to go to the extension mark place here thunder client okay you have to install i already installed it you have to install it you have to get this extension right so here you yeah, will be able to without go to the postman you have to check with here so what the url http colon localhost what's the port 500 payout slash if the request is coming here this is the port where our server is running if the request is coming slash student create what's the method which is a post method Get a body, you write the body JSON format. Top right here. This is name John. The JSON format you have right. Second one should be the address India. Come on, phone number phone dot enter as something like that okay the same for here what's the model you type the same name so type this then only to it should work right so this is just what if you now let's check whether it's showing fine or not click on this here record successfully created record successfully created now if you want to check with the database here mongo so mongo database now let's check with the database whether it's working fine or not I'll go to the cluster. Right. Here, browse the collections. Here, student successfully here. This is the database record is successfully. Here, it will be successfully, it will be displayed. It's working for perfectly well. How to add the records? Right. Now, let's Continue the rest of the part, which is uh, how to uh, view the records and delete and update the records. Right? That's all the all the stuff. We'll be do it step by step. It's very easy stuff for do the things. Right? Now, now what I'm going to do is go back to my uh, routers.js. Here we done the add records. Simple, the simple cats credit system. After that, how to view the records? Here we have to view the records. View records. But I comment it. It is this comment is useful useful to read the codes. Okay, so after that, after that, right? This also router dot get right. You have to write the request coming from student. You have to write assign task. This one. No need to write here. You have to just copy and paste it. It's simple. Without code. Get it? When the request is coming, slash students. You have to try. 
catch error right now here you have right variable students equal that put the avoid function student model student model dot find put right by right right here we are, this is how we have find the records right if you if you want to find all the records you have to write like this is a blank you have to display blank record this is this how we have to make the mongodb application okay so if you are not familiar in the my mongodb out the uh core is working i have attached the video below you just go and watch it right you will be you will get get the good uh you can learn the mongodb steps right now here after that you have to write the response for response you have to write status you have to write 200 dot send you have to write the students that's it right so after that what i'm going to inside the try try block you have to write response status you have to write there's an error you have to call this dot error that's it send that's it that's the thing you have to write perfect right now let's check whether it's working fine or not if the request is coming slash students what happens is it's go to the model and find method it will be get the record and put into this variable assign to this variable students after it's it the response this is a response it will be we will be when you it will be display the student records right now let's go to my request post your get as get this is a get method click send uh, what happened? Get uh, cannot. What happened? Let's back to our routes page. Right, what? Uh, when the request student get student, the request. Right, sorry. Let's students slash students. Okay, so everything is okay. What's the problem? There is coming here for four error. So the request is here. The four error is display. What about right? So here we have tried this one. Send only you have to write send from details. Something's a problem with the state right now. Let's if you have control C to control C to stop the application. I have made this changes, that's why that's the problem. Okay, so I again run it. Okay, I haven't run it. Okay, that's a problem. Okay, if you haven't want to change uh, any changes, you must save and run again, right? So here again, you have to go and send it here response is come really it's work but the problem is you have to stop the server and run it right right now let's do the find part so let's go to the route.js i'm going to find the record so write find records how do the thing is here uh, the same thing get method you have to copy and paste it here when the request is coming slash you have to set the id like this the param you have to set the param like this the param right so you have to write like this here you have to create what's the id you are coming here the param you have to get it here that constant variable id you have to write the id equal request dot params you have to set the params dot id this id get the id right you have to get the uh, particular id right you have to get the particular id and you have to pass it here 
right so now here we no need this find we sort of find to get a find by i here this all things are this methods all the coming from the node js yes, right so this all the find method that's the beauty of this one right so here we have tested whether it's working you have to put the validation if student id if not student students the students id is not if it is not if it is null if it is not null okay you have to request you have to write returns dot status sorry returns response dot status dot four four dot send send me the data will be sent if it is not null the data is not null if the data is there otherwise you have write uh you have write the uh, status this if it is null write student status is you have write 200 if the student student record is available if the student record is not available let's go here available it's go and send it of course this one that's the thing you have right that's it that's the thing you have right okay that's it okay now let's check file save all now when the record when the student if you want to go to here this is a record okay now i'm going to here copy this students when the url is coming like this click get uh sorry, sorry. what happened connect connection refuse okay you haven't run the server yet that's why accidentally my server gets stuck that's why it's a uh, error might be out right now let's check check this here it's working here it's working when the request is coming like this it's working fine right it's working fine here if you are uh, wrong id it will be unsupport here if the wrong id is not here if it's correct id it is working okay, it's working it's correct the correct id right it's working fine right uh, if you are right the correct id it's working plus id early you are getting this id which is this way call function there is a problem that go to the new request on support SHTP right here. This I have put it accidentally. That's why it's working. Here. Now it's working fine. Right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is the my find is working successfully. Now let's go back to my another thing is uh update. Right here, update records. So let's back it here to go to the router.js. Now I'm going to go to the update. Now the same get this one you have to copy it paste it below okay only the changes this one should be the patch when you update the record this should be the patch it's a patch you have to get comment is patch so update records right patch students record is coming here get the id and you write variable const variable type body equal request dot body now here 
right here you have to type student model dot find id and update slash body comma new the true right you have to write a new to right not here so, so you have no need them right so right right now here if, you, if the this one should update students so you are trying to share this variable you have to update students okay so here you can see here when you update the record it will get the id along with the records the body body mean the what is the changes you have made along with the id the particular id it's coming both here put it here new true how does that you check it this update students if there any you have check with this one if there is any problem it will be written if there is no problem it will be execute this update student will be updated that's it that's the thing you have tried so i'll save all of save all and get it back to my get a patch tool open the body uh, this is a body the id is a id so we don't need the id this one i have to make the changes here so id coming usa phone number and type one two one two one two one two this one no need them this all this will no need them no need them now let's check check send button uh cannot patch the student why what's the problem cannot patch the student students let's back if there any error coming you have to go here students id the patch uh try this one what is the constant variable avoid student model let's get the model id body to if the students return the students they are update students right the problem is here here i already show you here i haven't closed and run the server that's the problem close it you have to close the things right here is server is running again you have to run the server that's the problem the server the this one but what is that the change is not done that's why it's it, it getting error right now you go go here and you can check it here now again you have to things here now it's working here usa this working fine okay you have to stop the server control c to stop the server and run it control c to call stop stop the server and run it right after that we will do it as a delete record so how will the record this also the same thing you have to wait the delete also the same thing copy it paste it below instead of patch write at delete so the thing is all the things are correct we don't need the body side is the body is not we don't need them the body things get rid of these lines all things we keep id only uh id only we don't need this this and true that's the thing so we don't need them this all thing id only this one should find instead of the find update you have to write find id by delete that's it that's the thing you have to write here delete students copy it paste it over here right here also deals that that's it so right delete that course right. when the request is coming slash do you have to what side you're typing it's getting the id here it passed it to this variable this variable here coming here it's go to the model and delete the particular id and passing here this particular record has been deleted that's the thing it will be about right so if you want to get the message as yes, well, the record is deleted. So we have to get the message here. 
the same thing message return sent sort of there you have to write here student deleted the student updated the same thing you have to just copy it student updated so easily know what happened now let's save all run back with the application okay this is my application already running Control c to stop the application again you rerun it right now we check it right now let's go to the patch tool i'm going to usa john peter you have to update the record send it uh what is the things why it's not updated But the problem is here, you have right here, only send only. Right. Sorry, sorry, not here. This error, not here. It paste it here. But it paste it here. Okay, student updated. Okay, it's, it's updated over here. But it's updated over here. This one should be paste it over here. Copy then. Not inside here. Right? It paste it over here. Student deleted. Right? Space it here, not there. This is the error message. That's it. File save all. Now again, stop the application, run it again. Pictures. Now let's check it here. Student updated successfully. Right. Now I can delete the record. Delete pictures. The ID is coming. This one, no need them. This all things. We just click send. ID removal. Right now, let's go and check the database what happened. So, to refresh them, just refresh the data again. Refresh, there's no data. I have to remove them. Okay, here now it's working perfectly well. Now, let's if you have to add the data again, go to the post pictures, students, create body. I have this body data. All uh, right, sorry. Body data, why it's not working? So, students create. Oh, what's the uh, routes? Right, student, not students create, student create. That's why it's not working. But you have to. Once you run the API, you just write it here. Student is created successful. Now let's check it. The database again. Refresh them. The collection is working. Right. Now again, you have to run uh, write it another fair new at the another data. James India phone number something like that. Send it. Create it back into our database. You have to refresh them. So, okay. Fine. I hope you guys you understood this, uh, this credit applications uh, well. If you have any doubt, you can let me know. Thank you for watching.